Farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another very special Haiti video. In this video, we're going to be talking about the squirrels, the squirrel tree, and the peanuts. So we're going to do a little tutorial on how these cute little sneaky animals work. And before I start this video, I have a little announcement that when this video ends, I'm going to be removing a lot of people from my friends book so that I can finally have space. And oh my god, is that a new feature? Okay, alright, so copy to device clipboard. So finally, you can copy your tag from right uh, from here from your friends book directly so that you can paste it anywhere I guess um, because I know a lot of people have been requesting me to add them but I couldn't so I'm gonna remove a lot of people and if you get removed don't worry just add me back and from now on in the beginning of every new month I'm gonna be removing everybody from my friends book so that you guys can add me back because I think everybody deserves a chance and remember that once my friends book gets full I'm sorry I'm not gonna remove anybody you'll have to wait till the next month now, coming back to the game, we're going to be starting the game by harvesting our crops. I've got some soybeans and carrots. Oh, not carrots. These are sugar canes. Awesome. So I got a nail and ew, my silo is full. That's crazy. 500 pumpkins. What am I going to do? Okay, let's just... I'm going to be selling them on a full price. I don't really care. Like, if they're going to stay here for a long time, I don't care. I just need coins. My coins are so low, I need at least 1 million because the recent update actually made me poor. 900,000 gold coins for the machine, uh, that was a lot. So we're going to be putting a lot of pumpkins and I'm just going to be advertising my shop so that somebody can purchase them. And oh, we have a lot of stuff here as well. Alright guys, so here you can see our beautiful squirrels. Wait, let me just... Hey horses, get back to your home and don't come here let my squirrels enjoy their time so okay all right so you guys can see this is my squirrel tree and these are my squirrels which makes peanut by using the peanut bushes so you guys can see each peanut bush had a thousand pods and they've already used a lot of pods so my peanut bushes are gonna get dead real quick and I'm not sure why the horses are coming over here that's crazy hey go back don't come over here this is my squirrels area so nobody comes here if anyone dares to come here there's gonna be huge fight between squirrels and other animals well squirrels are really cute you guys can see they're wearing um, sunglasses and they're jumping and saying hello to me now look at my dog what is he doing he's sniffing around so to have a close look let's go to Greg's farm because he has the fully mastered tree house for the squirrels so these are one two three four five six seven eight total squirrels for a fully mastered squirrel tree and you guys can see here is your dead peanut bush and I think it looks really cool especially in the Halloween this tree and these bushes are gonna look perfect for your designs and Alright guys, so now I'm at one of my baby farms, level 69, and I just opened a mystery box to get a... Uh, no, I'm gonna trash that. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna be purchasing our squirrels over here, and we're gonna be seeing in detail how they work. So basically, your squirrels work just like exactly your honeybees and your beehive tree. So what you do from this tree, which is called as the beehive tree, you collect the honeycombs. Uh, basically, the bees make the honeycomb. And then from the honeycombs, either you can make the honey or you can make the beeswax from your honey extractor. But we do not have any machine for our squirrels. We directly collect the peanuts from their treehouse. And with the peanuts come two new achievements, which if we go down at the end, um, I'm going to show you guys. So yeah, we have the go nuts, which is harvest four peanuts. And you can get one diamond 100 XP. So basically, that's going to be four peanuts um, and a lot, a lot. It's going to get increased. Then at the end, you have the furry friends, two squirrels. You can get one diamond and 100 XP, which we're going to be unlocking just now. So let's go in here and from where you can get the actual squirrels. Basically, first of all, you'll have to purchase their home. Oh, wait a second. I haven't basically get my fields. I forgot. I can't believe. All right. So... We're going to go down into the animal homes section and we're going to be purchasing our squirrel tree. So one squirrel tree costs about 45,000 gold coins and I'm just going to be getting out and it's so beautiful, isn't it you guys? 
So basically, um, you cannot swap it or you cannot change the direction of this tree. It's gonna stay exactly like this. So once I tap on here, it takes me to the animals. So introducing the beautiful and cute little sneaky squirrels. So 4,000 for each squirrel. And remember, this is the very first stage of your tree house and it's only gonna have two squirrels. So I'm gonna be getting those. You basically cannot put them out of the house you'll have to put them exactly inside the house. So there goes my one squirrel, awesome. And there goes my two squirrels. All right, so the achievement is unlocked. This is the furry friends. We're gonna go ahead and collect our diamonds. So there we go. And the next one is have four squirrels and it's gonna unlock. Okay, it's gonna give me five diamonds and thousand XP, awesome. So now, what are these squirrels doing? Basically, they don't have anything to do. They're just sitting there. And it's telling you to buy a peanut bush to continue your production. Or you can spend six diamonds as well. Now, if you have a look at the mastery of the squirrel tree, it shows me that collect peanut pods to earn stars and get more squirrel houses. So either I can spend 199 diamonds or I can, or the actual squirrels have to collect 5,500 peanut pods to get the next star, which will be level one. Then your tree house is going to have two houses. Um, and when you get the second star, they're gonna have three houses. And finally, when you get fully mastered, it's gonna have about four houses with eight squirrels. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be buying the new peanut bush, which I'm really excited about. So we're gonna see the movement of the actual squirrels and I'm gonna be purchasing my peanut bush over here. So it's a long time and wait. All right, so come on, come on, run, run, run. Wait, where's the second one? I don't know. That's the only one. Look, look what is it doing? This is so funny, you guys. All right, I'm going to play with them. So basically, I'm going to make them run as much as I can. Wait, that's cheating. Why did that happen? They came out of nowhere and they suddenly jumped into my peanut bush. That's crazy. So now you guys can see they are working and they're very sneaky animals. So they don't want to get exposed. They work very secretly. They just don't want to get exposed. So, no one can see them, you can only see their fluffy tail, and I'm not sure what's going on inside. So you guys can see they collected two peanut pods each, and they're now running back. So I'm gonna play with them, I'm gonna be placing my squirrel um, tree. Wait, that's cheating, why does it happen? Why don't they run? So you guys saw they collected about two, and then I'm gonna run back to the peanut bush, and they're gonna collect more. So you guys can see they're running, they're so cute. Wait, what was that? Oh my god, did you guys see this? They jumped! And they jumped directly? Wait, that is crazy. That, that doesn't make any sense. Technically, that should not happen. Alright, so, like, if I put it over here. So basically, um, each squirrel gets one peanut, so total two peanut pods from the bush. And then they run back to their squirrel tree house and they, you know, put it there. So their task is to collect about 300 peanut pods. And once they do that, you'll be able to collect not two peanuts, but only one peanut, which is very disappointing because in the beginning, I was thinking that maybe we're gonna get two peanuts from one single actual tree house because, you know, there were two squirrels. So I was thinking maybe we can get two, but unfortunately you're only gonna get one peanut, which I think is very low. And it's gonna take about two hours and 30 minutes for these squirrels to collect 300, um, 300 peanut pods. So in three hours, in two hours and 30 minutes, basically, you'll be able to get one peanut, which is very low. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like, only one peanut? I think Katie should decrease the time to maybe about like one hour at least. Like the bees only take about 45 minutes, not longer than that. Like the squirrels take a long time. And even when you're a high level player, the products that you'll have to make, that's crazy. So what I'm gonna do now, I am about to be showing you guys how to collect the peanuts from there. So, I'm gonna be collecting the one peanut from two squirrels. So what you have to do, all you have to do is to drag this basket around their house and there you go, one peanut collected, 43 XP, and the peanut goes into your silo. Now you guys can see the animation of these cute little squirrels. So basically they're running and it looks like they're racing with each other to see 
who gets there first. I'm just gonna be opening the mystery box. So, ooh, got some coins, awesome. So each of that went into a different bush and they're gonna get back to my squirrel house. Now, having a look at my mastery, my squirrels have collected 3,300 peanut pods. Uh, so basically this means you have to collect eight new peanuts from your squirrel tree then you're gonna have the next star because it says you have to collect 5,500 peanut pods and in two hours and 30 minutes they collect about 300 total peanut pods so you can very easily get this star if you keep collecting the peanut pods and I'm gonna be showing you guys how the next stage of this looks like so basically we know there are four stages so let me just go to the actual BDRs who is the topper of this game so um, there we go, we are on Addy's farm, and here you guys can see this is I think the second stage of the scroll tree, when your scroll tree has um, two stars. So this is how it's going to look like, and it's going to have four squirrels, and I think the game is going to get really cool once we get more and more squirrels. So you guys can see, they all are working together, and their animation is really cool, and this makes, hey, more of a farming game and I'm really loving the fact that they actually added squirrels. Squirrels look perfect and so cool in this game. Now you can also try to design your farm with the help of the actual peanut bushes. Well I haven't thought of that yet but I might do that later. So our boat is here and we're gonna be filling up our boat. We're having double XP which is so cool. We're gonna ask for help here and we're gonna do this on our own. Now let's talk about the peanuts price. Wait, what? Honestly, my whole shop is full. That's crazy. So let me show you guys what products are you going to make with these yummy peanuts. So the very first product is actual sandwich, peanut butter jelly sandwich. It takes about 21 minutes. One peanut, two bread, and one raspberry jam. You guys saw it gave me 80 X me. So I've already got three. The next product that we had was our peanut noodles. One rice noodle, one ginger, one soy sauce, and one bag of peanuts. Again, I have six. And the third product was the actual honey peanuts. One peanut and one honey. And I think the sesame brittle now don't need honey anymore. They just need some sesame and one ginger, which is cool because we cannot have that much honey. Ooh, so Sufi's garden helped my boat. We're going to be sending our boat. There we go. Let's just fill it anyways. And also, you guys don't know we're having the actual chat glitch in the game by the recent update. And I don't know why Haiti hasn't fixed that yet, but maybe they're going to do that later. So my whole shop is full right now, and I think I'm just going to have to wait a little bit. And here you guys can see all my animals are walking around. It's like a zoo. It's like, I don't know what to call this, but all the animals are free. Rose is there as well, so... Like, they should be not together. They There should be some kind of social distancing, right? Like, well, they're so it's not a problem. But look at this cute squirrels. I'm really loving the animation. I think I love squirrels more than the actual bees. Well, bees are cool too. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna be collecting our honeycombs from here. And there are my bees. So I'm just waiting for someone to get my pumpkins. Come on, get those pumpkins. What is gonna happen? Let's run my dairy though. Let's make some cheese. And let's have a look at which level are we gonna get our squirrels. So if we go down here, you guys can see squirrel unlocks at level 62. Awesome. And here you guys can see the peanut bush unlocks at level 62 as well. So if you go in animal homes, we can see at the end there's a squirrel tree at level 62. So that's cool. Alright guys, now let's have a look at the prices of those products that we can make with the peanuts. So the very first product that was there was the actual honey peanuts. So I think I have um, six. So one goes for $5.40. Very, very expensive. And the peanuts are actually very expensive as well. Let me see. Alright, so one peanut is basically 360 coins and 10 for 3,600, which I think is probably the most expensive fruit or crop. Well, basically a dry fruit. So the next product that we have is the peanut butter jelly sandwich, which is going to be down in the bottom. I've only got a few. All right, so one goes for, ooh, 673 coins. Pretty expensive. So all the peanut products are going to be very, very expensive. And you can make a lot of coins. But I do not recommend to sell them, though. 
And then we have our peanut noodles. One goes for six. 69 five goes for 3348 so approximately 10 will go for more than 7000 gold coins then again a very expensive and a very good way to make coins um so that was it for your beautiful and cute well not beautiful well cute squirrels how they work you guys can see their animation is so cool Haiti has done a great job and i know a lot of players are very very happy and i am too so let me know in the comments what do you guys think about the um the actual squirrels do you like them or not i really love them and i think it's a great addition to a farming game it's making the game much much better so that was it for this video let me know in the comments what kind of videos would you like me to do and i'll see you guys soon bye